Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. All right, so I'm doing another bloom video, but it's gonna hopefully be a little different. Actually, it is gonna be different, so this should be interesting. But before I get to the video and get started on the painting, I wanna show you guys some really cool things I've been up to. So first off, let me start off by saying, one week today, I am going to be in Dallas, Texas. Um, and I'm going to be there for the Fluid Art Experience and I'm going to be teaching Dutch pours. So if you want to come to Dallas, Texas and come and learn from me, um, you can check out the information in the, in the web, on the website www.fluidartexperience.com, okay? Um, I'll be there in a week along with a bunch of other YouTube artists. We are going to have a fantastic time. I am counting down the days. I cannot wait. So if you're in and around the area or you want to jump on a plane, come and see me in Dallas, Texas. Um, speaking of workshops, don't forget, uh, I am doing a bloom class workshop, okay, where I'm going to be teaching the bloom here in my home studio, London, Ontario. That is Saturday, November 26th, okay? And I have opened up a new class um, for a large canvas Dutch pour. I just did one this past weekend. Uh, if you're on Instagram or Facebook, you would have seen pictures and a quick video of it. Um, you know, the ladies had a, gr a great time, so I'm gonna be doing another one. Um, I'll try and put actually the uh, time-lapse video of that at the end of this video, if I remember. I don't can't promise I'm going to remember that. But if anyone is interested in joining me in learning how to do a Dutch pour on a larger scale canvas, uh, 18 by 24 inch, that class is happening Saturday, December 3rd here in my home studio. So for more information, you can email me at canelasiraco at gmail.com. Calendars are still available, 2023 calendars. If you are interested in a calendar, makes for a great Christmas gift to yourself, to your friends, to your family, whoever. Um, but yeah, calendars are available. They are $50 Canadian plus shipping, all right? All right, I'm gonna show you guys the dried and resined results from the last bloom video. So it's gonna be a little difficult because of the shimmer of the shine from the resin, but they dried so nicely and the resin top coat really brings out the shimmer and the pop. So there's that one. So all of these are gonna be available for purchase. So let's see, I'll put it over here actually. These are 10 inch rounds. So here is the other swipe I had done, I'm trying to get it in the light so you guys can actually see the shimmer. All right, so there's that. Next, I have the little eight inch round. So there's this one. I know it's so hard to see, but I promise if you look at it under proper lighting or in the sunlight, the shimmer is crazy. And then the last one is the square where I did the edges on it too this time around. See the back, super clean. So this is the eight inch square. So there's that. So these are all available for purchase. If anyone is interested in these, you know what to do, email me. All right, so another, you're probably wondering, what are all these? I got these amazing silicone molds from Fluid Art Co. And I had like, I got them yesterday and I couldn't wait to try them. So I, and, and you know what? I'm so impatient that I actually um, took them out of the mold too soon because look, he's not fully hard yet, but that's okay. Cause I, I was dying to see what it looked like and I wanted to show you guys too. So let me start off by showing you um, the actual mold. So here's the mold. How cool is that? So I, I, of course I had to do this one because it's a wolf. Uh, or a coyote, call it what you want. I see it as a husky. <laughs> so I did that one. They have uh, a wolf. I did the bear, obviously. They have an eagle or a hawk, whatever you want to call it. 
uh, a horse. Sophia is uh, dying for me to make her the horse. So I'll do that at some point. I love the elephant. Look, there's a giraffe in there too. How cool is that? And then, of course, my great Canadian favorite, the moose or caribou. You can call it whatever you want. So there's all of those. I'm going to put them over there. And look at these cute little sea turtles. I cannot wait to do these because I'm going to dust each section with a different color. So these are going to turn out super cool. But yeah, I couldn't wait to try these last night. Let me tell you. So I dusted each section with a teeny tiny paintbrush and my TLP pigments. And um, then I put black resin in it. But look how cool that turned out. And I used my shallow casting resin from Crystal Resin, of course. So don't forget, you can save 7% off your resin using code Canela7. But so there's the wolf. And then here's my bear. How cute is that? I love it. So these are super cool. So I literally dusted them all with TLP piggies. I'm going to put these aside because they still need to harden. Um, because I took them out of the mold way too soon. But that's okay because I, I really wanted to show them to you guys. Um, all right. So next thing is um, I'm going to be spinning. I made this spinner. So for my bloom class that I'm going to be teaching, I made these mini spinners. I made these. So I had these boards already at home. And then I bought these from Home Depot. They're called swivel, there you go, swivel, swivel, yeah, just swivels, okay, this is the big one, but they have the smaller one, these are three inch, and I literally just screwed them into the bottom, now I know you're supposed to put another board on here and screw this onto the board, but why waste time and why waste a board for that? Um, so I primed the wood. I still have to resin over it. I'm going to put a, a white layer of resin on it to protect the board so that when I have my class and people are spinning on these, spinning their tiles on these, um, it's not going to ruin the wood. So look at this. How cool is that? So this is super neat. And so people will put their coasters on here for my bloom class and we will learn. So if you want to join my bloom class, come and see me. So then what I did was I bought that big one. It's a six by six inch. I put it on the back of here. Now, I haven't had a chance to prime this board or resin it, but I really wanted to do this video today. So I taped the bejeebers out of it. Um, just to protect it for now, just for this video. Um, so yeah, I just taped the whole thing. But I put this on here, okay? And then I taped the top because again, I don't want to get it dirty until I've primed it and resined it. And then I'll take all the, obviously all that will come off. Uh, and I've got my Loli Veffy silicone mat. So I've had this mat for years and I've never used it because I never had a Lazy Susan to put it on. Um, so now I do though, look at this. How cool is that? All right, so today I am going to be doing um, this. So I'm going to be working on an eight by 24 inch canvas and the thought process here, and I've already taped the back. This is a this is a not the greatest canvas. They're, they're uh, from Desserts, um, but yeah, it's not gallery wrapped or anything like that. So getting the tape to stick on the edges is, is kind of hard because they're back stapled. It's a back stapled canvas and I hate these things, but because I'm trying this for the first time, um, I didn't want to use a fancy canvas. So I'm going to put this here and I'm going to spin it. Oh my gosh, this should be interesting. So, and the, the, the plan here is to use the hair dryer to blow out the blooms, okay? So that is the goal. Whether it's gonna work, I don't know. Um, you know, I see Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. Um, she's doing always these blooms and then blowing them out with her hair dryer, deconstructed blooms, all that fun stuff. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna give this a go. But before I give it a go on this, because 
I want to make sure I know what I'm doing because I don't want to waste paint because um, this is an 8 by 24 inch. So I'm going to do my first practice run with the hairdryer because I've never used the hairdryer um, for blowing out a bloom. So this is a 12 inch round. Um, bottom is taped and I have put a clear um, coat of resin on it. Okay, so I'm going to put it here. I'm going to do a bloom and I'm going to blow it out and I'm going to, you know, get familiar with the hair dryer in terms of blowing this out. And if it works and I like it, I'm going to do it on the canvas. If it doesn't work and I don't like it, I'm still going to do the big canvas, but I'm going to use my mouth to blow it out. So I'm going to get myself set up, get my colors mixed and stirred really well with my, my popsicle sticks and we're going to get started. So I'll be right back. All right. I'm nervous. Well, let's get started. Um, <laughs> this is going to be interesting to say the least. All right. I've got all my colors stirred up here. I'm going to give my cell activator a good stir slash shake. Okay. So I'm um, on this one. I'm going to use, uh, anchors away. It is color to go. Now, again, if you want to know about all this paint, about how to mix piggies, how to mix your Amsterdam paints for bloom, uh, I'm not going to go through any of that. Go to video number 504. I will link it up here at the top. It is a full tutorial about everything I have learned um, recently about the bloom, okay? And how to mix and ratios and everything and where to get products, ingredients, this, that, and that. All right. So I'm not going to go over that in this video. Go and check out video number 504. All right. So anchors away. I guess I'm going to need quite a bit considering this is a 12 inch round. Okay. I don't know if I need more, but What's one more roundabout? Okay. Okay, this is going to be definitely interesting. Now I bought these, I finally got new mini ladles, okay? Before I forget, look at this. I got them off Amazon. You get four in a box. They're actually stainless steel um, and you get four in a box and these are perfect. So I can actually put my Lagostino one away back up into my kitchen. But yeah, these are off Amazon. I'll try to remember to put them in my Amazon shop. All right, so my paint is down. Now I'm going crazy with colors. So uh, this is called Golden Peach by TLP. So Golden Peach. I'm putting a lot of colors down on this one. I'm trying a peachy pinky vibe. This is Dioxazine Purple by Atelier. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so interesting using the hair dryer. I don't know if I'm going to get it to work. This is Fairy Floss TLP. Then we have Lemon Sorbet TLP. Okay. Then we have Permanent Red Violet by Amsterdam. I had posted on Instagram, a reminder to people that I'm coming to Dallas. I'm, I'm, I'm being, I'm going to be in Dallas, Texas. This is Supernova by TLP. And then I had a follower message me and she's like, oh, I'm in San Antonio. When are you coming to San Antonio? I'm like, I'm, I'm not, I'm in Dallas. I'm like, <clears throat> can you like, she's like, well, it's four hours away from me. And I'm like, this is called Venus TLP. I'm like four hours away. I'm like, lady, I'm jumping on a plane and coming from a different country. I'm like, you can't drive four hours if you want to come and see me. And I'm like, oh man, I can't visit every state and every, I don't know what you call them in your states. We call them cities or towns, but 
I'm like, come on, like you're in Dallas. Like, I mean, you're in Texas, I mean, like just come and see me. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why things like that bother me. They shouldn't, but it's just like, <sighs> I just, sometimes I'm just a little dumbfounded, you know, like I'd love to go to every state. I would, but it's just not possible. I cannot do it. I cannot. I just, it, it doesn't work that way. So anyway, all right. So that is spread out. Oh my gosh, this is going to be interesting. So I know Karen uses a hair dryer without um, the attachment on it, but I don't know what to do. Maybe she like blow down first and then I'll put the attachment back on and like skim across. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Whatever. It is what it is. Let's give it a go. So black, uh, oxide black cell activator. Okay. Pop that bubble. Pop that, pop that bubble. There we go. Oh my gosh. I'm nervous. Okay. And I think it has to go on high. No, let's do low. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to put the attachment on. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm practicing. Hi. Okay, well, that's actually not bad. So I did do it on high because low wasn't gonna go anywhere. I've heard Karen say that cold air is a must. Um, I'm not really sure why. Um, I've just heard her say that in her videos. None of my hair dryers have a cold button and I don't plan on buying a hair dryer with a cold button. So hot it is. Um, so I'm gonna give it a few minutes. And I'm going to mess it up because I feel like it. In my last video, I had a few people mention saying, oh, it was pretty until you used the skewer and did those squiggles and now I don't like it. Well, to each their own, it, that's, you know, your preference and I'm, that's totally fine. But sometimes these designs, you know, help sometimes they don't but I'm gonna do them anyway <laughs> so we'll see um this is interesting okay I'm, I'm gonna spin and yeah okay I'm gonna spin but what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna put away um the anchors away because I'm not using it for the canvas I'm using black so there's no sense in getting it filthy and dirty okay Oh, yes, my anxiety. All right. <laughs> I need a proper spinner, but for now this will do. My, my makeshift spinner is gonna have to do. Okay, I'd love to get like a really cool spinner. Oh, where's my knife? I need my knife. Hold on, I gotta pick up the board off the bottom. So yeah, I, like, I mean, I don't know what kind of spinners people use. I don't know where they get them. I know Erica Hughes sells um, her own spinners and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I, I don't have a spinner as of yet. So I just, you know, kind of made my own. And um, which is fine for now until I get better at doing this and, you know, whatever. It'll, it'll do. You know, I've got the tape underneath of it, so I know that's probably, you know, causing it a little bit not to spin, uh, spin properly. Look what I did. Okay, now I'm a little upset. So, in my last video, when my board went flying off the table, off the thing, it, was, it wasn't because it was 
slippery, it was because I have dried resin drips on the bottom of this board, okay? And which means the board is not flat, okay? Now I gotta fix that, look at that. I need a proper spinner. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And so I guess I'm kind of worried now how I'm gonna spin that big 18 by 24 or eight by 24. This isn't giving me enough spin to do anything at this point. I'm really scared to spin it super hard. Um, I And I don't really have the traction to spin it really hard. Okay, well, paint is moving on it. That's for sure, because I can see I'm going to have to... Oh my gosh, I can't believe I got my finger in there. That really is disappointing. It is what it is. Let's keep going. I don't know why, but I'm like really nervous right now. Uh, the colors are super pretty. I wish there was more color in here though. I'm not liking the blank negative space here, but all right, let's keep spinning. I want to give it like such a hard spin, but it's it's really hard to do that. Okay, that was a little better. Okay, my boo-boo's gone, which is great. That's great. Okay, I'm gonna try and spin the opposite way now. I wanna give it like a hard Superman spin, you know what I mean? But I can't really do that. And I don't really know how on earth I'm going to spin that canvas out. Okay. I th yeah, well, see, you can see it, the paint is definitely spinning. It just, it's taking more work obviously okay one more that was a jumpy spin okay all right i think that's pretty cool though actually not bad at all oh, i've got paint on my glove very, very close to my watch. I don't know why I keep forgetting to take off my watch because the last thing I need is paint on my Apple Watch band. Silly me, I should take it off, too late now. All right, I actually like it. Look at that. Oh my God, I almost dropped it. <laughs> Then I'd really cry. This is a big round. I've never done a 12 inch round. Look at that. Pretty cool. And I didn't really think about where I was gonna place it when I was done. All right. All right, so I will show you at the end of the video, a close up obviously of the results. All right, so this is Boy, oh boy, this is going to be interesting. I really hate these canvases. The tape just does not stick to it because of the staples in the back. But I really didn't want to waste a gallery wrapped canvas from Michaels uh, until I know what I'm doing. So, and I'm going to leave that mess there. Yes, I am because it might help. All right. Okay. Say so that's pretty even. Okay, yeah, that works. All right, 
I'm nervous as heck. Okay. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so I'm using now Tricorn Black Sherwin-Williams. So I'm going to just, this can is almost empty, so I'm going to just do this. All right, so this one's empty. I got I to gotta keep my eye open for another sale. I got these at 30% off, which makes them about 10 bucks and change. All right, so I'm going to just tilt that over. Okay. Okay, so that, and then I'm going to add some more black. And this one, because it's full, I do not want to pour out. I know, I just don't like making a mess. So, this should be interesting to see how this is going to turn out. I, if you, doing the hair dryer felt pretty comfortable, so I wasn't too. I'm not too worried about that. Of course, obviously, I can practice and get better, so we'll see. But I'll keep practicing on these types of canvases because I have like, um, I think I have another three or four of them, so we'll see. Um, but yeah. All right, I'm just gonna use my finger. And this is why I don't wanna screw up because this is a lot of paint, right? And I'm I'm just not used to it. I'm used to pouring on little eight inches and tiles. So this is a first for me uh, in terms of size. And I am gonna practice more of the swipes now that I have the big palette knives because that was a lot of fun but yeah I'm, I'm definitely having a lot of fun with the bloom and you know I'm kind of mad at myself for letting me take this long to get into it but again if it wasn't for Lisa Marvin coming over right and teaching me her ways I wouldn't be here right now so let's uh I'm just going to Oh goodness, I was gonna say tilted a bit. I'm a mess. Oh my gosh. I'm just trying to even out. I touched it with some blue on my hands. That's not very smart, Canela. Okay, whatever it is what it is. Okay, so I'm my thought process here is three blooms one two three okay and um let's see here i had colors all set up so i don't waste any time trying to figure out colors okay i'm going to do these two uh, let me do the center first okay so in the center we have tlp's sangria so yeah, I'm, 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 now I'm torn. I don't care. I'm going to still do what I had in mind. Don't change your mind, Canela. Just do what you were supposed to do. All right. So TLP Sangria. Then I have Dioxazine Purple by Atelier. Okay, I don't like that that happened. Okay. Um, and then I've got Nightfall by TLP. Okay. 
Okay, and then next, Agapanthus, TLP. And then topping it off, we've got Harvest Gold. I don't know if I wanna to top it off with Harvest Gold though, now that I think about it. Harvest Gold. Um, you know what? I'm going to top it off with, uh, Enchantment by TLP. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. So that's that puddle. That should be interesting. Now the other two puddles, we are going to do Dioxazine, Purple, Atelier. So we've got a puddle here. And I guess over here, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> then we have Lemon Sorbet TLP. This is such a nice yellow. Okay. Maybe a little more over here. Okay, then we have Quinacridone Magenta by Atelier. Uh, TLP's, oh gosh, my back's killing me because I'm reaching so far over the table. TLP Frost. This is going to be an interesting mix of colors. Okay, TLP Frost. And topping it off, uh, Enchantment, TLP. I don't know if I should blow with my mouth or blow with the hair dryer. If I screw this up, that's a lot of wasted paint and I'm gonna be pretty upset with myself, but it is what it is. Air bubble, air bubbles, air, 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 little air bubbles. Now, some of you had asked, why don't I torch? Because you're not, I was told you're not supposed to torch house paint. It's not good for you. It's not good to smell it. It's not good for the paint. It's just not good. So that's why I don't torch house paint. Oh gosh, should I start? I'll, I think I'll do them one at a time just to be safe. So let's start with the middle. And wish me freaking luck. Okay. Okay, so what I'm experiencing is because it's blowing it so hard, it I should probably have more of a black, like more black on the base. So I'm going to um, put more cell activator in this one. That could be a good thing or it could be a bad thing. I don't know, let's see. Okay, so it has to be on high. Low ain't, ain't cutting it. So definitely has to be on high. Oh, and a goober just fell out of there. Wow, that is quite the goober, but I got it. All right, last one.
Okay, it is what it is, and I think I screwed this one up. Yeah, I did. Okay, have no fear. Blow a little bit and some cells will appear. Look, I'm rhyming now. Good grief. Good grief. Goodness gracious. Okay, so I have these little dinky, crappy palette knives from Amazon. Um, I'm going to wreck this to an extent because um, this is a hot mess. This is so pretty and this really turned out and I really screwed this one up. Technically, I can scrape it and try it again, just this side. Yeah, I could technically do that. I could, yes, I could. Where's my scraper? Okay. Oh, this part's pretty, but this looks like mumbo jumbo. like this pit in my stomach I feel gross <laughs> what's wrong with me oh shoot that's very sad oh my gosh that's so sad that really is sad okay let's try that again so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that yeah that's what I'm gonna do all right, let's try that again. Um, this is what I did. Okay, so let me do this super quick. Okay, so as I'm doing that, I'm thinking to myself, I should have done this in the first place. Big puddle, big puddle, big puddle and then did my blowout and then worried about the edges later. I don't know why I didn't do that. That was pretty dumb, but I know that now for next time. All right, let's try this again. Wait, I need to spread some of this. Okay, now let's go. Oh my gosh, look what's happening here on the table. That is pretty. All right. Okay. Wow, so much better. So much better. And I think I saw a goober somewhere in here. Ah, oh, yeah, there he is. No, yeah, there he is. You bugger. I don't know. Okay, that worked out way better. Way better. Okay, so... Actually, that's not so bad with the hair dryer. I actually kind of got that a little bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to need a bigger palette knife, Canela. I'm going to put some of this, oh, that works, on my edges here. Don't waste paint, right? Oh, wow, I'm so glad I scraped that. You know what I'm mad about now? I love these colors. I like this color too, but now I kind of wish I had done everything the same color. I can't win. Honestly, I can't win. All right, I need some paint over here. Okay, so the question now is, what the heck do I do with it? Do I like do what Karen does and just do this like deconstructive like through it like I'm kind of worried to mess it up I'm, I'm kind of scared to ruin what I've got okay I'm going to move this up a bit is it gonna hit my tripod no it's not okay 
Oh my gosh, I'm like panicking right now. I don't know how to spin this. And I don't know if I should squiggle through it. Help! Okay, forget it. I'm just going to... I know, I know. Don't get mad, okay? Don't come after me. Don't come after me. <laughs> I swear. I'm learning, okay? Just, just don't come after me for doing that. feeling this will come off the edge anyway okay let's let's just start there and ready to let's have a panic attack okay oh my gosh that is so close to my tripod if it hits it it hits it okay I'm gonna bring it back okay I've never been so stressed out doing a painting before. Not because of the mess. I just, I, I really want this to work. I can deal with the mess. I'm not that bad when it comes, like, I mean, yes, I hate a mess, but I'm like, I mean, I'm not going to have a panic attack over it, but I just, I want this to really work. All right, we got some paint splatter happening, which is fine, because it's being contained on the table. Okay, I'm not crazy about what's happening here. So let me spin the other way and see what happens. Okay. Is this where tilting comes in handy now? All right. Let's, uh, let's see what happens. Okay. Sorry, I know you can't really see what I'm doing, but even I can barely see what I'm doing. Let me go this way. There's a lot of paint on here and I need to get it off. I know Karen does that like little stick test I've seen her do where she'll, I saw a goober in here. I don't know where it went. There you are, your big goober. Oh yeah, it was a big goober. I need to spin this more and I don't think I can do that on this crappy spinner. Here I thought I made a really good spinner, but clearly it's not the greatest. All right, and it's also slippery as heck. I need a better spinner. But for now, this will have to do. I mean, it is pretty. My my cells are like. I mean, it's really. I have to stretch it. It. I need to spin this sucker a lot. I really need to spin this hard. Um, okay. That was a bit better. Okay, I'm gonna continue to spin this, but I'm gonna speed you guys up. Otherwise, this is gonna be another hour long video. So this is where I'm going to leave it. It is what it is. Obviously, this is my first attempt at this. And I kind of know what to do better now the next time. So um, it's really pretty. 
um, not the composition I was going for, but um, I do really like the colors and I do really like the shimmer. So I'm going to leave it. Um, I really, really wanted to stretch out my cells more over here. And then I had pretty cells over here, which unfortunately went off the edge. I'm loving the center. This is eh, so-so to me. And I don't think there's anything I can do to like fix that. So... You know, nothing else I can do about that. But I have more of these canvases and I'm going to try this some more. Do you want to see me do more? Um, like I said, I need to practice a little bit, but obviously this was my first attempt. So I'm going to clean up and uh, I'm going to show you guys a close up without these bright white studio lights. So I'll be right back. All right, everybody, I'm cleaned up. You know, it didn't take that long, actually maybe about 15 minutes. It's really easy when you have a plastic tablecloth, you wrap it up and toss it in the garbage and then everything else is still clean. So yeah, now let me show you these uh, results here, wet results. Trying to get the right angle, there we go. The right angle. So this is the round, 12 inch round, using the Anchors Away base. So I know that light is annoying, but you'll see better with this light than you do with my studio lights. Actually, I wonder what it'll look like with the flash on. So maybe I'll do that after this, like I normally do with my Dutch pours. So, and then we've got this, which has really grown on me. Again, though, I, I do want to practice some more on this uh, type of thing with the blow dryer. But I'm really loving, like the cells are really pretty. Look at those clusters in there. I just wish it would have spread out a little better. Um, but yeah, that's obviously something I need to practice on. But like I said, look at that center. Oh my goodness, look at that. Um, I'm going to do what I said, is just put three big puddles in the center um, and do it that way instead of, you know, flooding the whole canvas first. See how the cells are really like mushed together here? This is where I was, you know, hoping and trying to get them to spread out more. But the more I tilted or spun, the more it distorted the rest of this side so uh you know i'm gonna practice obviously some more so that's that let me turn the flash on and see if it makes a difference all right so i do have the flash on all right so it, it definitely makes a difference yeah it makes a big difference so here's the round and yeah you can definitely see the shimmer so this is how shimmery it is. And of course it's gonna dry, get a little dull, but then you put resin on it and then it becomes ridiculously shimmery. All right, that's super pretty. Now let's look at this. This is so pretty. I really wanna play some more with this. And I may even do a pretty, uh, this on uh, with a big swipe. Uh, I'm definitely gonna try a canvas this size and play with some swiping now that I have um, my big palette knives. Look at this center. I love this center. See, if I go too close, there, you see how my camera changes the color, which is really annoying. But wow, look at that. Definitely lots of shimmer happening, for sure. So there you have it, everybody. Um, I'd love to know what you guys think. Um, you know, tell me your thoughts, you know. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, you know, 
watch Nikki D, watch Kathleen Miller, watch this person, watch that person. I, I know who all these people are. Trust me, I, I know a lot of YouTubers and I know who's out there. Problem is, I don't have the time to watch these people. <laughs> I don't even have time for like my everyday stuff here at home. So yes, I appreciate the tips and saying, you know, recommendations on who to go and watch. But uh, I quite frankly don't have time. <laughs> So I'm kind of playing as I go here and kind of learning on my own. But um, when and if I do ever have time, I promise I will definitely um, look at those people's videos. But in the meantime, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. They are going to be available for purchase if anyone is interested in these. Um, I can only imagine what the bottom of this canvas looks like because the tape is just really didn't stick very well. But let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I promise I'll be back to Dutch pours in the next video, but I was just having too much fun with the bloom. So don't forget, come and see me in Dallas, Texas if you can. And um, yeah, there's my wolf. I'm going to call him a husky even though he's a wolf. But yeah, that's it. That's all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.